The sad sound of whimpering might be the result of a lost or abandoned puppy, like these, and microchipping might be the solution. Pet owners and dog lovers around the world are pushing more than ever for this to happen. Microchips are placed under the skin of animals in order to reunite them with their owners. And England is taking a proactive approach. All dogs will have to be microchipped as a part of a government attempt to cut the number of strays and make pet owners more responsible for their animals starting April 2016. Director of UGA's Community Practice Clinic, Dr. Ira Roth, says Great Britain is farther along than the U.S. when it comes to pet care. They don't allow cats to be declawed. They don't uh, allow dogs to have their ears trimmed. Um, and it's a natural out, out, uh, offshoot with their requirement for their uh, microchipping. But it sure would be wonderful because there would be a lot more happy ending stories if, if everybody did that. This is the needle used to insert the microchip, which can be compared in size to a tiny grain of rice. Shelter manager of the Athens Humane Society, Lindsay Porter, says people have misconceptions about the microchipping process. People are fearful um, because they don't know what a microchip is. They think it's a GPS unit and we're tracking them and we're tracking their animals, but we're not tracking them. The microchip is used specifically to find the owner of a pet when it loses its way, nothing more. Dog owner Ashley Erickson is strongly considering getting one for her dog, Lily. If that happened and then she got picked up and went to the pound and they could find me but like if like I didn't know that she was in the pound and like they didn't have like a collar on her or something like that then I would never be able to find her again. 